Hey, Bart here with Cycling Strong. I'm here with Dave, picking his brain like crazy. There's a whole series of things here. Go watch them, I hope you enjoy them. If you have questions, please make them below. So this is a big thing that I started to stress about last year. Uh, those of you who watched the, all my series of things was nutrition on the bike. So my question to Dave is, and I don't know what his answer is gonna be. I honestly don't, I've never <laughs> asked this to him, so I really don't know what it's gonna be. So uh, nutrition on the bike, do you eat on the bike? or do you just drink on the bike? And I'll say this because on a road bike, I feel really comfortable in my jerseys, okay. getting the bottles, all that kind of stuff, me personally. Mm -hmm. On the mountain bike, let's be very clear, <laughs> I am nervous. focused <laughs> and I have got one thing in mind and that's riding. So for me to get my jersey and do this and that and the other, that just did not work for me. Okay. So I went to nutrition in a bottle okay. and it worked really, really good. I mean, I have to tell you, it worked amazing for me. Now. But still on the road bike, I like to snack on stuff and sure. eat things. So what's your opinion? Or, no, I don't know if it's opinion, but what's yeah. your thoughts on that and how do you? Well, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff that people say about yeah. that. Uh, you know, uh, you, you mentioned that you use Hammer Recovery. I do, yep. Uh, Hammer created something called Perpetuum. Yep, yep. And, Very familiar and with and it. They really, makes my stomach sick. Yeah, and, and that's the case for a lot of people. Yeah. And they'll, or... Carbo Rocket. Yep, Carb they, Sport, Carbo Rocket. Yeah, they've, uh, they've got these high calorie tank. in mm -hmm. one bottle. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you can get, I can't remember what the calorie count is. Yeah. Um, for some people, that works great. Yeah. For the, the people that it works great, my guess is they're drinking that and they're drinking some plain water as well. Mm -hmm. But it, it is an ease of use situation where mm -hmm. they can get a ton of calories in just in liquid. Yep. Uh, there are opponents to that, mm -hmm. um, uh, and I don't know if they find themselves to be like enemies of, of that. Right. But they, uh, Osmo, right. Scratch, yep. their idea is that your fluid mm -hmm. should be transferring electrolytes with minimal calories. Right. So, you know, they would, they would tell you that they've done a lot of scientific research. Both of the people involved in those products yeah. have a big science background yep. and they've done a ton of research on hydration and electrolyte focus. Yeah. And so you know, that's, that's where they're coming from. Right. What you need to do individually is find what works for you yeah. and test it out in multiple training situations. So Leadville, Lodija, yeah that you're looking at this year. Uh, something that might work on a three to four hour training session, yep. you hit six hours oh, plus man. in a race situation totally and you go sideways. Yep. And it's the same stuff that you were using in that three to four hour session. Exactly. But in the summertime, you're gonna be doing some big long rides, right. both off road and on the road. Yep. And two different products might work awesome for you yep. One on the road, one on the mountain. Right. But we want to know what they are, yep. and we want to know how they work for you. Yep. Now, getting into the nutrition specifics, like how many calories, right. what type of stuff. Yeah. If you are having a really hard time, like your, your quality of workouts is significantly impacted, and you can't figure out the eating, yeah. you need to talk to a nutritionist. Right. Um, but let's say one gives you a gut ache, and then the next training ride, you try something different and it works for eight hours. Yeah. That's the one to use. Yes, yeah, go for it. Uh, hopefully we have another long training session where you can just test it a second time. But you know, you really need to find the things that work for you. And with nutrition, don't ever wait until you're thirsty or hungry because right. then it's too, too late. late. Yep. So one of the best recommendations that I've heard comes from Stacy Sims at Osmo is a little bit of drink, mm -hmm and a little bit of food. Mm -hmm. And kind of her recommendation is, on the fives, take a drink. On the tens, eat a bite of mm -hmm. something. It's good, I like that. Now on the mountain bike, a little bit more difficult. Terrain might, you might be yeah. on a long downhill. Yeah. And you're on the downhill for 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, right. but if, if throughout the ride, on average, you're trying to have a focus of a little bit yep. and a little bit of chewing on something, yep. you're probably gonna do good, and that way, you know, you're not at one hour, I have to eat a whole bar. Right. And you pound the whole bar, or you're on the middle of a descent for 20 minutes, exactly. and now you're at an hour and a half before you start eating something. Yep. So if you're getting a little bit in on a regular basis, 
that that's probably going to help you have higher quality training and racing because you're fueled. Good. So what I ended up doing was really quick is I had one product I was taking. Taste was really, really strong. I liked it at the beginning. About an hour after two hours, it was just too strong for me to handle. So I went with a blander taste, um, not as obviously as appealing at the beginning because it didn't have really strong taste. But after eight hours, I was like, I can still drink this stuff. So make sure that the tastes and things like that fit, just like Dave was yeah, saying. Yeah, you don't want to get to a point where you're not taking it because it doesn't taste good yeah. or because it's too sugary yeah. or because exactly. whatever, because you still need it, especially yeah. towards the end of these events. Yeah. And, and you don't want to end up with a lot of stomach bloat. That's right. I've heard from clients that, you know, they come across the line, they feel like they're going to explode. Yeah and they've been sick the last two hours, yeah. that's a nightmare. That is a nightmare. And I also suggest that you know, race, even though you practice it a few times, that doesn't mean the race isn't gonna still change things. So your support crew, if you have a variety of things there, you just don't know what you're gonna need. But if you've tasted it and you kinda like it, I throw just a sample bag in, just for, just honestly, just because I want it there, just in case. And the first year, it paid off for me. And so just keep that in mind that when you got support crew there and they're already bringing a bag to help you with gear. Load it up. Yeah, just throw some stuff <laughs> in there up. because you might pop in there and say, you know what, I hate Coke. I've never drank Coke in my life, but I am craving a Coke. <laughs> Hand me that Coke. I mean, it's crazy, but people do that. Yeah. And it'll fix you. But if you don't have anything at all, just your regiment, you're screwed at that point in time unless somebody along the ride is nice enough to help you out. So keep those things in mind, those tips in mind. If you have any questions, Please make the comments below. Uh, Plan 7 does have a nutritionist, on a dietitian on staff. They would love to help you. Go there uh, and, and just get in touch with them. They'll help you out. So ask the questions. If you don't ask, you won't get the answer. And you don't know what you don't know. So there you go. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Keep cycling and have a great day.